Hi, I'm Teacher Giovanni and welcome to my TV Lessons channel. By the way, our topic today is just a continuation of the topic that we have discussed from my previous video about decimals. But this time, I will teach you on how to add and subtract decimals through thousands with or without regrouping. Let's find out if the process of adding and subtracting decimals is the same way in adding and subtracting whole numbers. So let's not make it long. I know that you're so excited to learn today. So let's go, let's start our lesson. Our topic today is adding and subtracting decimals through thousands with or without regrouping. We can find the sum or total of two or more numbers by adding them. The numbers to be added are called addends. In adding decimal numbers, align the decimal points in the addends. Annex zeros to complete the decimal places when necessary. Add like we do in whole numbers. Then, align the decimal point in the sum. We can also find the difference of two numbers by subtracting one number from another number. The larger number is the minuend and the smaller number is the subtrahend. In subtracting decimal numbers, align first the decimal points in the minuend and subtrahend. Subtract as we do with the whole numbers. Then, align the decimal point in the difference. Example, find the sum of 235 thousands and 4 tenths. In adding, Write the decimals in column form like this. Take note, put zeros to the right of the decimal to have the same length, if necessary. And then, add like adding whole numbers, then affix the decimal point in the sum. This would be 235 thousands plus 4 tenths. This will become 235 thousands plus Four hundred thousands. It become four hundred thousands because we added two zeros to the right of four, so that the addends have the same length. And then start adding from the right going to the left. So five plus zero, that is five. Three plus zero, that is three. Two plus four, that is six. And then you are going to affix the decimal point and then zero so the answer or the sum is six hundred thirty five thousands another one add or find the sum of one and three thousands three hundred sixty one thousands two and twenty hundreds and three and two tenths as you can see here we have four addends. Like in problem number one, we are going to write the decimals in column form. Put zeros to the right of the decimal to have the same length if necessary. So it looks like this. And then we have to start adding from the right side going to the left. So 3 plus 1, that is 4, plus 0, plus 0, that is 4. Next. 0 plus 6 plus 0 plus 0, that is 6. And then 0 plus 3, that is 3, plus 2, that is 5, plus 2, that is 7. And then you are going to put decimal point, which is aligned to the decimal point in your addends. And then add the whole numbers. We have 1 plus 0 plus 2, that is 3, plus 3, that is 6. So the answer is... Six and seven hundred sixty four thousands. Next example find the difference or subtract three tenths from ninety two hundreds. The same in adding decimal numbers, we are going to align the decimal points like this. This would be 
92 hundreds minus 3 tenths. Put extra zeros to the right of the decimal to have the same length if necessary. So here, we will put 0 after the digit 3. So this will become 92 hundreds minus 30 hundreds. Then you are going to subtract like subtracting whole numbers. Then affix the decimal point in the difference or answer. So 2 minus 0, that is 2. 9 minus 3, that is 6. And then the decimal point, 0 minus 0, that is 0. So the answer is 62 hundreds. These are examples of addition and subtraction of decimals without regrouping. So now let's proceed to addition and subtraction of decimal through thousands with regrouping. What is the difference of regrouping than without regrouping? So when adding decimals with the sum of the figures in one column exceeds 10, regroup the digits, then subtracting decimals with subtrahend greater than the minuend of the same place value, regrouping is done. Example, find the sum or add 67 hundreds and 42 hundreds. The same way in adding and subtracting decimals, we still need to align the decimal point like this. That would be 67 hundreds plus 42 hundreds. Add like adding whole numbers, then affix the decimal point in the sum. So 7 plus 2, that is 9. 6 plus 4, that is 10. Since the sum of the two digits is more than 9, we need to regroup. Do not simply put 10 below, but what are you going to do is, you just only bring down 0, and then you are going to carry 1 to the next digit. So the next digit is 0 plus 0. So 0 plus 0, that is 0, plus 1, that is 1. So the answer is 1 and 9 hundreds. Another one. Add or find the sum of 1 and 73 thousands, 361 thousands, 2 and 9 tenths, and 3 and 2 tenths. So you are going to write the decimals in column form, put zeros to the right of the decimal to have the same length if necessary. So it looks like this. That will be 1 and 73 thousands plus 361 thousands plus 2 and 900 thousands plus 3 and 200 thousands. What happened to 2 and 9 tenths here? We added two zeros after nine, and also we added two zeros after two, so that the decimals have the same length. Now we add three plus one, that is four, plus zero, plus zero, that is four. Next, seven plus six, that is 13, and 13 is more than nine, so we need to regroup. So what are we going to do here? We bring down three here, and then carry one to the next digits to add. So 3 plus 9, that is 12, plus 2, that is 14. Then we are going to add 1, and that is 15. Since 15 is more than 9, we need to regroup. Bring down 5, carry 1. 1 plus 0, that is 1, plus 2, that is 3 plus 3, that is 6, plus 1, that is 7. So the answer or the sum is 7 and 534 thousands. Next one. Find the difference or subtract 49 hundreds from 927 thousands. Take note of the word clue which is from. We are using here the word from. So our minuend here is 927 thousands and our subtrahend is 49 hundreds. So we are going to align the decimal points like this and then subtract. 
Remember, put XR zeros to the right of the decimal to have the same length, if necessary. So this will become 927 thousands minus 490 thousands since we added 0 after 9. And then we subtract like subtracting whole numbers, then affix the decimal point in the difference. 7 minus 0, that is 7. 2 minus 9 cannot be, since digit 2 is smaller than digit 9. What will you do? So we are going to borrow 110 from the next digit, which is 9. And we are going to add the 10 to digit 2. So 10 plus 2, that is 12. And 12 minus 9, that is 3. And 9 becomes 8. So 8 minus 4, that is 4. Then decimal point, and then 0. So the answer or the difference of 927 thousands and 490 thousands is 437 thousands. Okay, so we are now done with our topic about adding and subtracting decimals through thousands with or without regrouping. And that is very easy topic. I hope that you will never, never forget what you have learned because every day we deal with money and money deals with decimals most of the time. By the way, once again, I'm teacher Giovanni saying that math is minds. Math is not a difficult subject if you're willing to learn. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.